everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here and today is my Friday weigh in update. Before I get into that, I would just like to give you a wee update on my mum. Uh, for anyone who didn't see last week's weigh in video, my mum had a heart attack last week and she is a lot better now. We would both like to say a huge thank you to all of you for all your lovely kind words and best wishes. Basically, on Monday, no, over the weekend, she was transferred up to the cardiology unit where the care was a lot better. And then on Monday, she was transferred through to Edinburgh. And on Tuesday, she was given the angiogram. They found that there's not been any damage to her heart, which is good, but they didn't put a stent in. I'm not sure why, we're waiting to find out, and it's really, really frustrating because we feel like we're still back at square one, she's still going to have the angina, she's still not going to know if she's going to have another heart attack, whereas when you've got the stent in, you can pretty much live your life like a new person. <laughs> so they haven't done that. So she's a little bit worried, but she's going out there, she's living her life, she's back at her line dancing classes, um, she's not allowed to teach or, or dance, obviously, but the crowd that go are fantastic. She's got some brilliant friends there, so they're all helping her out. And she is back to loving life again. Um, obviously taking things a lot easier, but we just want to say a huge, huge thank you to you all. Oh, hello. Rana's got the hiccups in case you can hear something funny. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to pass that on to you all. Now, how has my week been? As you know, if you watched my caravan vlog, I was away in the caravan at the weekend, so I was off plan, I planned to be off plan, I was back on plan first thing Monday morning, but it's been a tough week, it's been a very tough week for two reasons, one, I have been so hungry, really, really hungry this week. Now. I think I've mentioned before that I do sort of intuitive eating. In other words, I don't eat because the clock tells me it's time to eat. I eat because my body's telling me it's hungry. So usually I don't have my breakfast until anywhere between 11 and 12 o'clock because I don't get hungry until that time. However, this week I've been having breakfast at nine o'clock because I've been starving. Um, and once I've started eating, I've wanted to eat all day. Now, it has been mostly free food, um, also sweet food that I've been eating. I've actually even been frying up some mushrooms, onions and tomatoes and just sitting eating a bowl of that. Um, it's been crazy. It's just really, really strange. However, I have also maxed out my sins every day. I didn't go over my sins through the day, but I did go up to sort of between 13 and 15 every day, which isn't like me. Now, the other reason it's been really tough is... Again, I've mentioned before that um, part of my medical condition, I suffer from chronic pain in my feet. I've got um, neurological problems. So I've got nerve pain, which is notoriously difficult to treat. Um, and over the last few weeks, it's really been getting bad. It's been getting to a really high level. But this week, it has been unbearable, especially through the night. And it stopped me from sleeping which has been very difficult because it has then meant that through the day I've had very low energy, I've been very tired, which has meant I've done no exercise this week. Also, it has meant that my mood has been rock bottom. I've just not been great at all. Please excuse him barking in the background. He's just been out, he's just been a pain. It's worse than having kids, right? <laughs> It's worse than having kids. Rana's barking and Molly wants cuddles. Um, yeah, so my mood's been rock bottom. I've been snapping at Jack and the kids for no reason. Just the pain, the tiredness, and it's just been awful. Now, the other thing that's happened is because I've not been able to distract myself through the night with my games on my tablet like I normally do, it's usually enough to sort of tide me over, even that's not been enough this week. So two nights I have got out of bed and I have eaten. Hold on. Sorry about that. I've just went and gave them a chicken wing each so that hopefully they will be quiet. 
if you can hear crunching now, that's what that is. Um, yeah, so I have actually two nights this week ended up getting out of bed and eating. Now, there was a tag video going around, I think it was around Halloween time, and one of the questions in it was, what film most relates to your journey? And I was thinking about that this week because I felt like a gremlin. It was like, as soon as I started eating after midnight, I turned into a monster and I couldn't stop. What I was doing though, which was relatively good, damage limitation I would say, was it was low sin things that I was eating, but I ate a lot of it. Now I had already maxed out my sins through the day, and then two nights, including last night, I was up, I was eating hi-fi bars, I was eating skinny whips, I was eating skips, and it was just not good. And I was crying while I was eating it, both with the pain and with the frustration that I was doing it, but I couldn't stop myself because I was trying to find something to distract me from the pain. It distracted me slightly, but not enough. I don't know why I still did it. I just, I couldn't help myself. I just did it. Um, so yeah, it's been a very difficult week. Yesterday when I put my jeans on, they were extremely tight and I thought, uh oh, oh, definitely in for a gain this week. Deservedly so. Uh, like I say, I was off plan last weekend. I've been right up at my sins. I've been eating a lot through the day, a lot more than normal. And then I had those two binges through the night. So when I got on the scales today, let me tell you what I was last week first. Last week I was 138.6 pounds. And when I stood on the scales today, I was 139.8 pounds. So it's been a gain of 1.2 pounds. I feel like I've got away very lightly with that. I feel like I've put on more than that. Um, Again, like I always say, the number on the scales isn't always realistic. In my body, I feel bigger. My jeans are definitely tighter, so although the scales haven't changed too much, my body definitely has. I'm really bloated and it's just, it's not good at all. But I know why, which is fine. It's good to know that. Um, there's nothing worse than getting a gain when you've been perfect all week. So, at least I know where it's came from. I don't know why I've been hungry. I think I've maybe been so hungry because I've not been sleeping great and it's just knocked my system all out of whack. Um, and the stress and the not sleeping, I was actually saying, I commented on Belle, my weight loss journeys video, when she was talking about having um, unexpected gains and things, but she's also really stressed and she's not sleeping well. And I was saying to her that when you're stressed and when you're not sleeping, your body releases cortisol, which basically, to cut a long story short, puts on weight. Cortisol is a hormone which is released and it causes a number of reactions in your body and the ending result can be weight gain. So the fact that I've been stressed, I've not been sleeping and I've been eating too much explains the weight gain. Now, coming up, Sunday I am going out for Mother's Day. Thankfully, my mum is well enough that she's going to, my dad's going to bring her over and we're going to go out for lunch for Mother's Day. And I'm just thanking my lucky stars that I've got the opportunity to do that because after last week, I was worried that I might not have the chance to do things like that again. So I'm really going to make the most of Mother's Day. I don't mean I'm going to go crazy, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to enjoy a nice meal with her. And um, so that will be off plan. And then as of next week, I'm shaking things up a bit. I'm not going to say any more just now, but on Monday, I had been hoping to film my meals this week and put that up on Monday. However, I remembered that Monday is the start of April, so Monday's video is going to be my March reflection, March goals reflection and my April goals. And in that video, I'm going to explain to you what I'm going to be doing going forward. So I'm not going to say any more just now. Hmm, curious. What's that going to be? <laughs> Yeah, so look out for that video on Monday to find out what I'm doing going forward and to try and change things up a bit. And I think that's all that I've got to say to you this week. I've not really tried anything different. I made my slow cooker Fanta gammon with the five spice and the carrots. 
cooked in the orange as well and that was lovely. Other than that, I've not really had much. I had the Mexican Maggie So Juicy chicken and I wasn't really that keen on it. It was okay, but I wouldn't use sins on it again. Nah. Um, and I've just had my usual salmon and things like that. So nothing really major to talk about this week. Nothing new that I've tried. No, I don't think so. No. So I think that's me for this week. I'm going to head off now. And um, thank you very much for watching. And please comment below. Let me know how you're all getting on. And I'll see you on Monday.